In this video, I want to talk about the products that make up the FileMaker platform. With this information, you'll have a better understanding of what your options are for deploying a FileMaker solution within your organization. Now, as you start to work out your FileMaker strategy for your business or organization, you're going to want to think carefully about using the correct FileMaker tools to meet specific needs of your team. In this video, we're going to talk about individual FileMaker products and how they fit together. First off, we have FileMaker Pro, which has been historically the software that works on Mac and Windows. It's the software that you primarily use to build your custom application. Now, in previous releases of the FileMaker platform, FileMaker Pro was called either FileMaker Pro or FileMaker Advanced. Well, starting with the release in 2020, we're calling this just FileMaker Pro. The basic and advanced features have been rolled together into one single application. And of course, we'll talk about activating those more advanced features in another video. So FileMaker Pro provides robust database access for heavy duty users of a FileMaker solution. And why do I mention this? Well, there are also two other clients that are part of the FileMaker platform. It's super important to understand that with FileMaker Pro, you're going to have your development environment as well as a user environment, which provides the most power and capabilities for your team members. And now at this point, I want to mention a terminology change or shift that's been occurring over recent years. You will hear me refer to a FileMaker solution or a FileMaker custom app or a FileMaker database or a FileMaker template. All four of these terms mean effectively the same thing. Of course, after working 30 years in the FileMaker community, I've had to learn each of these terminologies as the various sales and marketing organizations at Claris change the terminology. It all means the same thing. And of course, I've been around so long, you're going to hear me refer to all four terms. Although primarily, I prefer the use of FileMaker solution because really building an app has a different connotation. Although for younger people, building a custom app has a different meaning than it does for older users of the FileMaker platform. So of course, once again, your view on terminology may very well depend upon your age and what you've been exposed to throughout your life. So once you build your custom application, you're going to want to host it or share it with your team. To do this, you're gonna use one of two products. You're going to either use FileMaker Server or FileMaker Cloud. Now both FileMaker Server and FileMaker Cloud are dedicated products slash services that will host or share your custom application on a local network and also out across the internet. So if you have a mission critical solution, parentheses AKA custom app, especially one that you're sharing, then FileMaker Server or Cloud will be something that you will need to use. FileMaker Server is software that you license that runs on a Mac system, a Windows computer, or on a Linux-based computer. And of course, that would be a computer that should be set up and dedicated for that purpose. It becomes your server. Keep in mind, this FileMaker server can be installed in your local office, or it could also be installed up in a data center up on the internet. We do have customers who prefer FileMaker server who install it on a Windows virtual server up on an Amazon data center on an EC2 server, which is a virtual server. Now, if you don't want to set up and run your own hardware, then you need to look at FileMaker Cloud, which is a service provided by Claris. Claris has a single purchase process where you license the FileMaker Cloud for at least one year at a time. Then Claris sets up your own server for you up on Amazon. Now, if you're using FileMaker Cloud, you really don't know that you're using Amazon. However, it's good to know that Claris is leveraging the largest, most professional online cloud service in the world. Now, of course, FileMaker Cloud is available in different regions. And in fact, the whole idea behind FileMaker Server or FileMaker Cloud is that you want that service or server to be as close to your end users as possible. If so, if most of your users are in Australia, then you want to make sure that you're using FileMaker Cloud or FileMaker Server that's based in that geographical region. Now keep in mind that both FileMaker Server and FileMaker Cloud provide excellent encryption of your database, 
Not only is your solution encrypted, but the network traffic that goes back and forth between your users and the server itself is encrypted. So in summary, understand that if you're going to share your FileMaker custom app with your team, you're going to need to choose either FileMaker Server or FileMaker Cloud. For most organizations, this decision will be based on input from their IT staff. If the IT staff has the technical chops to set up their own server, and if they're interested in setting up the server, then FileMaker Server might be the option for you, especially if you want the server in your office. However, if you don't have any IT staff, or your IT staff is generally uncooperative, then you want to look at FileMaker Cloud, which requires no hardware setup at all. Now moving forward, if you have users who want to leverage an iPhone or iPad, then they're going to want to install FileMaker Go. FileMaker Go is a free download from Apple's App Store. FileMaker Go is not available for Android. FileMaker Go is specifically tuned for these mobile devices, allowing you access to extra features that are not normally part of FileMaker Pro. For example, with an iPhone or iPad, you have easy access to built-in barcode scanning, signature capture of a user, easy image or video capture straight into your FileMaker system. And of course, you have access to the GPS tracking system within the iPhone, so you can actually get GPS coordinates of the user at any given time. FileMaker Go also supports some other interesting capabilities like Force Touch, Siri, and starting in 2020, there is support for machine learning or AI-based assistance. Now, the third way of connecting to a FileMaker solution or custom application is to use a browser. And the technology that is used is called WebDirect. WebDirect is part of FileMaker Server or FileMaker Cloud. Once again, you can provide browser access for your team using WebDirect along with a specific certified browser. FileMaker WebDirect is specifically tested with the most popular browsers on the latest operating systems, which is interesting because that allows you to access a FileMaker custom app from an Android device. Specifically, it will support the latest Chrome browser that runs on mobile devices. Now, of course, WebDirect will also run on Macs and Windows and on iPhones and iPads, but the true benefit to WebDirect is Android access. As a reminder, you're going to want to do your serious FileMaker development using FileMaker Pro. FileMaker Go and FileMaker WebDirect are primarily designed for consumption of a custom application. That means that Go and WebDirect are primarily for accessing data, editing data, etc. Now there is a fourth way to connect to a FileMaker application that's being hosted on FileMaker Server or FileMaker Cloud, and that's using the FileMaker Data API. We call this DAPI. So you will hear a term called Custom Web Publishing, and that's the idea of coding HTML pages, maybe with some jQuery, and then typically you're going to use the XML or PHP Gateway or DAPI to either add, edit, or delete records from your FileMaker custom application. Now, previously, you could connect to a FileMaker server using an XML or PHP Gateway. Now, the XML or PHP Gateways have been deprecated but are still functional with the latest versions of FileMaker server. The XML and PHP gateways were never created or ported over to FileMaker Cloud. So the only way to provide a custom web publishing experience while hosting on FileMaker Cloud is to use the FileMaker Data API or DAPI. Of course, this will take some real programming experience and it's not really something that a brand new developer is expected to be able to do. Now we talk about DAPI and custom web publishing later on in this video course. In fact, if you look towards the very end, you'll see an entire section just on that. So in summary, you really have two different server options. You have three different client options, and then you have one custom web publishing option for public facing access to a FileMaker solution.